Apple ecosystem, Apple ecosystem, Apple ecosystem, the Apple, the Apple, 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 the Apple, the Apple, Apple, Apple ecosystem. Yes, that's right. For a long time, if there is one area Apple has been ahead of Android, it is their ecosystem game. However, all of this could change with the new Galaxy Book 4 series because on paper, Samsung has ecosystem features that would make all Apple folks jealous. Impossible. AI. What? That's right, this has the latest Intel Core Ultra Series CPU which has dedicated cores to handle AI stuff. So the question that has to be asked is, did Samsung beat Apple in their own game? But before we get to the whole ecosystem stuff, the unboxing is different from other laptops. You get this white box and inside you have the laptop, also a charger, a Type-C to Type-C cable and a stylus, the S Pen for laptop. And speaking of the laptop, just have a look at this beauty. Metallic body, Samsung says this is made from recycled metal and I must say this looks very sleek and premium. On the inside you get a 16 inch 3K 120Hz AMOLED display and the quality of the display is... Like I was watching Murder Mubarak on this, the colors, brightness and all are pretty nice. Also, Samsung brought their anti-reflective tech from S24 Ultra on this laptop. So see side by side against another laptop, if I throw a torch here, it reflects less on the Samsung laptop display. Plus for a Windows laptop, the speakers here are above average. Like the speakers are placed here at the bottom, but they are positioned in such a manner that the sound is not blocked. And also this is a two-in-one laptop. So technically you can rotate it all the way and use it like a tablet. Though I rarely used it in this mode because every time you use this, the keyboard at the back feels weird on your fingers. Instead, I used it quite a lot in the tent mode. Like watching movies like this is a treat. Now, coming to the ecosystem, doing basic stuff like taking calls, casting apps, these are obviously there and it works perfectly. It also works on other Android phone via phone link app. But let me show you three of my favorite ecosystem features. First, see, I have the S24 Ultra over here and now if I do this, on my laptop's trackpad, see the mouse shows up on the phone. So now I can open WhatsApp here and I can type using the keyboard of the laptop. This is multi-control. And second, I'll just take a screenshot of this portion of the screen on the laptop and now I'll open WhatsApp on my phone. I'll hit paste and see the exact screenshot from my laptop is imported on the phone. Seamless. This is clipboard syncing and it works both ways. Like if I copy something from my phone, I can also paste it on my laptop. And everything that you copy between the laptop and the phone is saved here in the clipboard manager. All you have to do is hit Windows plus V and you can see everything that you have copied this is very handy number three and this is probably the most useful one let me demonstrate it so i have photoshop open on my laptop and using the samsung tablet i can just mirror the laptop display over here meaning if i do this on the tablet it shows up on the laptop so if you're into art graphics and everything this is a very useful feature and not just this you can basically use your tablet as an extra monitor for your laptop so obviously you can use your laptop's keyboard to type here on the tablet as well as the trackpad to browse and everything also, I read about it, a couple of features like using your phone as a webcam or using Copilot to send messages on your phone and all of that, that feature should arrive in some time with a later update. Now, those were the good things about the ecosystem, but we at TechWiser here are to give you the overall picture, pros and cons. So there are a few things that I noticed here which could have been better. Like setting up all of this for the first time is not very simple. There are around three to four apps which you have to set up and sync individually with your phone. Also, few of the ecosystem features like multi-control, second screen and all of that, they will only work if you have a Samsung phone and Samsung tablet. Now, another interesting thing with this Galaxy Book 4 is what's under the hood. But before I get to that, you need to understand Intel's fancy naming scheme. Now, in 2024, there are two types of Intel 14 Gen CPU. Number one is your normal i3, i5, i7, i9, like all the previous generation. But now, there's a new series called Core Ultra 5, Core Ultra 7 and Core Ultra 9. Now, you'll be like, Pratik, how is it different from normal i5, i7? Good question. You are a very good question. In fact, at first we were pretty confused. But after a lot of research, I'll say there are two major differences. First, 14 gen processors have P and E cores, but the newer Core Ultra chips have two extra low power efficient cores. Let me show you what that means. This Galaxy Book 4 has the Core Ultra 7 155H chip. So I'll start Cinebench and see all the cores are working except for these two cores. Because these cores are there to handle super light work like waking up from sleep or playing music in the background and all of that. Also, if you see the spec sheet, the Core Ultra chips have something called NPU or Neural Processing Unit, meaning it can handle AI stuff better. So we ran this benchmark Geekbench ML. This is the benchmark, but for AI. Just for reference, on our i7 12 gen laptop, it scores around 2000, whereas the Galaxy Book 4 nearly scores 4000. That's double the performance, although this is two generation upgrade, but clearly those extra AI cores are doing its work. Second, Core Ultra 7 and 9 will have the newer Intel Arc integrated graphics, and this, in my opinion, is one of the most needed upgrade in Intel. So see here, I'll run the benchmark tool of Forza 5 at 1080p, and on the default highest preset, it gave me 35 FPS. For integrated graphics, this is a nice score. Now we also played Counter-Strike 2 and the gameplay at 1080p, medium settings, FSR set to balance. We were getting more than 60 FPS, pretty nice. That being said, I did notice something regarding performance. Like doing regular things like watching videos, writing documents, or even photo editing and all of that, there are no issues. The laptop is 
smooth. But if you push it, then it does get pretty hot and thermal throttle. Like see here, while running the Cinemage benchmark, the temperatures were going as high as 108 degrees. That's hot. As a result, the CPU lowest performance gives 10,000 in the benchmark. It should have been around 13 to 14,000. So I believe the cooling system here could have been better. Other than this, the battery in this laptop, I would say is adequate. Like on the optimized mode, I was getting around seven to eight hours, which for a laptop is pretty fun. Plus you also get a 65 watt charger in the box, which charges the laptop in about an hour or so. Also the Galaxy Book has most of what you expect from a modern laptop. You get two Type-C Thunderbolt ports, HDMI 2.1, USB 3.2 port, headphone jack, and also a micro SD card reader. Now I would have preferred if it was a full size SD card reader, but something is better than nothing. Besides this, the keyboard and trackpad are fine too. Like I've been daily driving this for quite some time now, and I have written many of our scripts on it. Like Typing experience and the keyboard sound is really good. It also has this full-size keyboard layout, so you get the numpad here, perfect for Excel work. Also, you get a fingerprint reader over here, so you can just tap and it opens. Am I missing out on something? Oh yeah, webcam. So you get a 1080p full HD webcam, and here's how the video and audio quality is. Plus, you can also do this background blur, which looks pretty nice. Well, that was the all-new Galaxy Book 4 laptop. So to answer the question, did Samsung finally beat Apple in their own game? Well, see, Apple has so many years of experience in this that it would take some next-level stuff to beat them. AI in ecosystem is that next-level stuff. And there are also rumors that now Apple is taking help from Google for AI. So AI is something which overall Android has a really good edge in it. So as of now, Samsung hasn't beaten Apple yet, but they have definitely caught up with Apple. Like if Apple was a 10 in ecosystem, Samsung is now 9. And as for the laptop hardware, for most part, it is fine. The only thing is it gets hot if you do heavy stuff on it. The Galaxy Book 4 series starts for somewhere around 75,000 rupees. This one that we have here is the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 and this cost 1.63 lakhs. So let us know in the comment if ecosystem is a big deal for you while buying a laptop or a device. On that note, this will be signing off. See you in the next video. Pew pew. Pew.